Well, this Saturday night at the Fabulous Forum in Inglewood, fight fans will witness an introduction like no other in the history of sports. Of course, we're talking about ring announcer Michael Buffer and his unforgettable catchphrase. Jim Hill sat down with Buffer recently to chat about his legendary career and unmistakable voice. When people think of Michael Buffer, you're an institution in the world of sports, not just boxing, but in the world of sports. How does it feel when when you are referred to as that? It, it's flattering, but you know, sometimes it's almost overwhelming because I love what I do. And if I do like the Open the Rams game and I've done 13, 14 other uh, NFL teams or NBA finals and that sort of thing, I'm just, I, I feel like a kid. I'm having fun when I get up there and, and get a chance to throw the ball up to start a basketball game, or kick off for a football game, and, and of course in boxing. So um, for me, how does it feel? It feels great every time. How did it start? How did it develop? Let's get ready to rumble. What gave you the idea for the saying, let's get ready to rumble? The boxing thing started, I lived in Philadelphia. They started having all these fights in Atlantic City, 60 minutes away from me, and I just, as a fan, I thought it'd be great to get my foot in the door and instead of having to buy a ticket, you know, I'd have the job and I could sit at ringside and watch the fights. The thing that I wanted to do with Let's Get Ready to Rumble and I was looking for a phrase or something that would let the fans know the main event is about to start. The ring announcers were introducing everybody on the boxing commission, <laughs> four doctors, three judges. This is the day, the age where fighters come to the ring, they play the music, everybody's psyched up, it's the main event and then we just kill the crowd, it's crickets. So I wanted that gentlemen start your engines feeling. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when, when those famous words are said, everybody goes crazy because the race is gonna begin. So I wanted the same thing for the stars of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble. When I first started doing it, you know, I tried to, uh, ladies and gentlemen, man, your battle stop. I mean, you know, there was some yeah. real, yeah, nothing really worked and the great Muhammad Ali used to always say, I'm so pretty, I'm ready to rumble, rumble, young man. So that phrase was kind of there, and I tried, let's get ready to rumble. And I used to just say, and now let's get ready to rumble, 12 rounds of boxing, I mean, I kind of didn't. And a, a really good friend of mine who passed away, he said, when you say let's get ready to rumble, shut the heck up. I'm like, why? Because people want to react to it. Yeah. He was a show business guy, and, uh, and I, I took that advice and tried it, and sure enough, it, it was something that the fans wanted to hear, and I, I stayed with it. You know how much you mean to all of us. You know that uh, there are a lot of young kids out there that watch your every move, and I've heard kids walking around, huh, let's get ready to rumble, and they, and they just, they like you, they respect you, and we all love you. You're killing me, Jim. <laughs> Thank you.